Hello fellow crafters and tech enthusiasts, my name is James and today I'm thrilled to guide you through the captivating journey of creating your very own Minecraft server that's not just any server, but a fabulously optimized one using Game Team. Creating a Minecraft server can truly transform your gaming experience. It's like being handed the keys to your own virtual kingdom where you get ultimate control over the gameplay and endless opportunities to tailor the world according to your whims. Today we'll dive into how you can establish your own server and invite your friends over for some block building, creeper exploding fun on game team. Let's first peek into the treasure trove of, uh, of our modding capabilities. Imagine enhancing your Minecraft universe with new terrains, mystical elements, or perhaps state-of-the-art weaponry. The secret recipe to a successful mod pack lies in choosing the right mods that fit together like pieces of a puzzle. It's like conducting an orchestra. Every mod should play its part without overpowering the others, create a symphony of balanced gameplay. Once you've selected your mods with the precision of a master builder, it's time to bring them to life on game team servers. Their intuitive server panel eases the task of creating or importing your mod pack. You're practically a few clicks away from assembling your own Minecraft concoction ready to be served. Now that your mod bank is prepared, take it for a test run, there might be hiccups, but with a bit of patience and possibly some help from the game team support crew, your server will be humming smoothly in no time. Keep your mods updated to ensure the best possible experience for everyone who joins in. Let's talk about setting up a Minecraft server on Windows, and yes, for free. Wave goodbye to subscription was because all you need are a few software essentials, a sprinkle of tech savvy for port forwarding, and an appetite for adventure. To set up your Minecraft server on Windows for free, you will need to download and install several pieces of software. These include the latest version of Java Development Kit, the Minecraft server software, and a text editor like Notepad. Port forwarding allows external connections to access your Minecraft server. To enable port forwarding, log in to your router's administration panel and locate the port forwarding section. Follow the instructions provided by your router manufacturer to forward port 25,565 to your computer's local IP address. Now that you have the necessary software and port forwarding set up, it's time to launch your Minecraft server. Open the text editor and create a new file named StartBat. Of course, you might be pondering some questions. Can you add mods? Absolutely, Game Team makes modding as easy as crafting a wooden pickaxe. Worried about losing your world to an errant creeper? Game Team has got your back with automatic backups. And if you're looking to supercharge your server with more RAM for bigger builds and more players, they offer flexible hosting plans to fit your needs. What about crafting adventures with friends who are several updates behind or ahead? Fret not with compatible modes and a shared mod pack version. Everyone gets to join the party. And if you ever fancy a change of scenery, swapping world maps is as simple as replacing cobblestone with smooth stone. In wrapping up the realms of Minecraft, are calling for you to venture forth and carve out your own slice of digital paradise on Game Team. It's a place where your creativity knows no bounds, where optimization marries customization, and where your friends are just a click away from sharing epic tales and constructing monumental edifices. So gear up, mine those diamonds, brandish your pickaxes, and let the world bear witness to the marvels you can create on your very own fabulously optimized Minecraft server. Game on, and may your biomes ever be bountiful. Until next time, this is James signing off. Keep crafting and keep optimizing.